Uh, all right, so we, we are off the island. In fact, you can still kind of see the island over here. We're back on the main path. We have seen a lot of people, and I wanted to uh, start the video and actually comment. We just saw a guy that must have been 90 and another guy that was late 70s, certainly. Um, we're also passing some bathrooms. And it's the second set of bathrooms that we've had so far on this trip. And uh, so my comment is, this is a really nice short, there's a lot of bailouts for all ages, kind of all times of year. Like I say, it's pretty well kept. There are bathrooms and facilities available. I think that really makes a difference for a lot of people uh, to be able to know that, feel comfortable to come out for a hike, that they can you know, choose the duration and know that they're, needs are taken care of yeah they're really here to support you to get through this hike here's another white-haired person coming along the trail and uh, yeah like I said I think they're really doing their best to support your needs to get through this this trail so that's cool I respect that yeah all right we're going back in right going back, back to in. It. part two <laughs> all right uh, I'm, I'm not going to get political, so please take the political aspect of this conversation out, but we just talked about bathrooms and I've been thinking this week, uh, we are middle of March, well, I guess it's the 24th or something like that. Yep. Um, and in the news this week is Biden administration talking about a, a new infrastructure bill and Boy, I tell you, I get really tired of these infrastructure bills because almost all the money goes to roads, which uh, everybody likes roads, but we, we really shouldn't in the sense that we spend an amazing amount of taxpayer dollars on roads and we call it infrastructure. And yes, there's absolutely a, a, a economic correlation, but, um, what we also have witnessed in the last couple of months is Texas's electric grid, you know, completely failing mm -hmm, its mm -hmm. residents uh, locally. Our power has gone out twice in the last two weeks. In Tree, Illinois? You know, well, no, actually in, in grandma's house. Okay. Uh, tree trimmer knocked a wire down. That's to be expected. Put it back up. But when they put the wire back together, you know, a couple of days later, four transformers in a row all all overheated and exploded and we you know the good news is we get new transformers but the the reveal there is you know comad is no different from pacific energy in california causing fires and texas they have policies where they don't upgrade the infrastructure despite the consumer board that's here to help the consumers and make sure that we're supported you know the policies around that infrastructure of electricity are not good. They're not sustainable. So you're not saying that instead of roads, we should be putting it in electricity. I'm saying, yeah, we should put it into electricity. Uh, and I can't tell you how many times this week I've had bad cell connection and I've had bad Comcast to internet connection. Like to me, electricity and the internet are more important than roads. But if we're gonna go out and talk about infrastructure let's put in things that don't demand cars like better public trans bathrooms so that's what got us onto this topic i would love to see public bathrooms like everywhere as a hiker whether i'm in the city or not i'm walking all the time and you know when i'm on a mountain no problem there's no problem going to the bathroom on a mountain. But when you're urban, mm -hmm. when you're in an environment like this, it's not okay to just hit the nearest tree. And uh, and if you're downtown, like, you know, we're, the distance you hear the roads, that's 31st Street. Well, remember, we just did a hike in December down to 31st Street Harbor. On the, on the lakeshore. Yeah. Right. And that was a really long hike. Yeah, it was. With. Like zero 15, bathrooms it's like 15 miles and yeah that's a very good point yeah. there was you know we passed through some major parts of the city like 
there were bathrooms at the Bean, but they were locked. Right. Yeah. All the bathrooms COVID. get closed because of the pandemic. Like, yeah. it's the worst freaking idea. Yeah, I, don't, I agree. That causes a lot of problems. And then 31st Street Harbor probably had a bathroom, but... Also closed. But, you know, there's 15 miles we walked through, and those were the two. So. Yeah, so obviously we had to hit an nearest tree, but, you know, it's hard to do when you're on Lakeshore Drive or along the beach. So... So, so my you know, point is, roads is, are great, and we spend a shit ton of money on roads. Language, but maybe we, we ought to spend some money on things that support the the newer lifestyle, the lifestyle that is not going to the office six days, five days a week, six days a week. Nice slip, five days a week. Um, you know, where the commute is not what it used to be. Um, and let's put some of that. Otherwise, infrastructure money. I heard somebody say, oh, well, the last time we had a major road infrastructure policy was in the 50s with the Eisenhower Expressway. It's like, dude, every time there's a recession, infrastructure gets funded and it's all about roads. And we just did it in 2008. We spent like, a, you know, $800 billion or something like that. And most of the, most of the road was simply asphalting there was really no infrastructure it was repair very different concepts sure we can spend a lot of money i'm sure there's a lot of people that are supported by those dollars for their jobs that don't like me talking about this but just as many people can be supported by building public trans and and other support items for biking walking uh, and other means of transit that don't involve a car all right, that's what I had to say. Solid. <laughs> All right. What what kind of infrastructure would you guys like to see more of? Oh, good question. Good question. Comment below. Comment below. <laughs>